in cases of such as this one, the general process would be as soon as we get our, as soon as we're notified about any situation, it doesn't necessarily have to be abuse. Um, it could be that an older person <clears throat> is alone, isolated, ill, in need of medical attention. Um, we send out our social workers, go out and do an assessment. And the first step is always to get that person to the doctor to seek medical attention uh, to do a wellness check. Uh, we've had situations in which most cases, when we have to respond in those cases, um, the older person is hospitalized for a period of time. During that time, um, we also try to find out more about that person and their family situation. Who do they live with? Do they have children, siblings, anybody who can care for them? And we generally try to reach out to the family to find out what's going on, to see how they can support, if they need support, and where we can support as well. So um, each case is unique. Each case is different. <clears throat> there are instances where there aren't. Uh, persons do not have family support. And in those cases, we would have to take them into state care. Um, that in and of itself is a challenge because we have limited placements for older persons.